Okay, on this problem, it says a student wanted to get another student's five-digit student ID, okay, without asking them directly what the number was. So they found out the following information. They found out the sum of their five digits was 14. Well, I'm going to call these unknown digits X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. So the sum of these adds up to 14, okay? Now it says two times the first digit plus the, plus the rest of their digits was 15. So I took two times X1 plus the rest of their digits added up to 15. Well, I think that pretty much guarantees, doesn't it, that the first digit is a 1. But we'll keep going here. Three times the first digit plus two times the second digit plus uh, the third digit plus the fourth digit. Uh, oh, sorry. Three times the first digit plus two times the second digit plus the third digit plus four times the fourth digit plus five times the fifth digit was 41. And you can see I have that there. 2x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 plus 4x4 plus 5x5 equals 41. And it keeps on giving you information here. And you end up with, there are five unknowns, okay, the five digits. So I have to find out five separate bits of information so I can solve this system of equation. So these are the five equations that we have to solve right here. And once I solve these five equations, there's a system of five equations and five unknowns, I'll have the person's uh, uh, ID. Now, here's for two equations. I'm on the linear system sheet. Over here is for three uh, equations, three unknowns. And down below here is any time you're going more than three. I really, it says three to 10, but I would only use this for four up to 10. And what you do here is you have to put the number of unknowns here. So for this particular problem, you'd have to put in five for the number of unknowns. And then we'd have to type across here my coefficients. Like my coefficients for my first uh, equation was one, 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 one. And then clear over here, you put in your constant, which I think was 14. The second constant was 15. And your coefficients for the second equation were like 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. And you get the idea. You'd have to keep on doing that. And eventually, you'll get all five solutions right here. And it's nice that it has that power to be able to solve that high of an equation. And here is actually the coefficients that you would type in. And I didn't have enough room on the page to show you the right-hand side, which is your constants. And you make sure that you type in the five for the number of unknowns, and you'll get this for your solution. So in other words, this is the student's ID, 17123. And that would do it. So if you have a student ID that is eight digits long, then you'd have to ask the person eight different questions so that you would have eight equations, eight unknowns. And then you could solve it right here on this by putting in the eight equations, coefficients, and the constants over here. And you'd have to make this eight, and you would get the answer there. But those questions have to be different each time because none of these equations can be May have to be, they all have to be independent equations. In other words, none of these equations can be made by combining any of the other equations. So you have to make them kind of different so that it works out. So anyway, that's how uh, that, that goes, and uh, that's the end of that section.